Welcome to Spidell's Federal Tax Minute. I'm your host, Katherine Zidane, and this week we're discussing proposed regulations that affect required minimum distributions for IRAs inherited after 2019. We'll be covering this issue, plus other retirement, real estate, and investment topics in our 2022 Summer Tax Webinar. You can see a full list of topics and available dates at caltax.com under the Webinars tab. Earlier this year, the IRS released proposed regulations to clarify retirement account changes made by the SECURE Act. But contained in those regulations, we found the IRS's surprising position that if the owner of a retirement account died after their required beginning date for taking distributions, then their beneficiaries, who are subject to the SECURE Act's new 10-year distribution rule, are also required to take annual RMDs before distributing the entire account by the end of the year containing the 10th anniversary of the original account owner's date of death. The SECURE Act was passed into law on December 20, 2019, and it contained numerous retirement account changes, the most prominent of which removed the age limitation for deductible contributions to IRAs, increased the RMD age from 70 and a half to 72 years old for taxpayers born on or after July 1, 1949, and fundamentally altered the rules for inherited retirement accounts by eliminating the stretch IRA provisions for most non-spousal beneficiaries. The SECURE Act replaced existing rules for inherited accounts, which allowed certain designated beneficiaries to take distributions using their own life expectancy and provided for a five-year rule for other beneficiaries. Under the five-year rule, the entire amount in the IRA was required to be distributed no later than December 31st of the fifth year after the IRA owner's death. No amount was required to be distributed until the fifth calendar year, but it all had to be distributed by the end of the fifth year. Under the SECURE Act, for accounts inherited from individuals who pass away after December 31, 2019, fewer beneficiaries are allowed to use the life expectancy rules, and the five-year rule was modified by substituting 10 years for five years. Most tax professionals interpreted this to mean that beneficiaries of defined contribution plans, including IRAs and some government plans, have to distribute the entirety of their inherited account by the end of the year that contains the 10th anniversary of the account owner's date of death, unless the beneficiary is a qualified beneficiary like a surviving spouse or minor child who can take life expectancy distributions. The proposed regulations state that for beneficiary accounts that were inherited from someone who had already passed their required beginning date and had been taking out payments, the beneficiaries cannot wait until year 10 to distribute the funds from the account. These beneficiaries have to take at least an RMD each year based on the life expectancy of the decedent with the balance of the account fully distributed by year 10. This has created significant concern from tax practitioners with clients who inherited accounts in 2020 from decedents who had already started taking RMDs. Under the proposed regulations, the beneficiary should have taken an RMD from that account prior to the end of 2021. At this point, our recommendation is to wait before you do anything because the regulations are not final. If the regulations are finalized in their current form, you may have to have these clients take two RMDs from these accounts in 2020. 22, and file Form 5329 to request penalty abatement for the, quote, missed 2021 distribution. But considering the public outcry over these changes, it's likely we'll see relief in the final regulations for these taxpayers. We've been covering these regulations in detail in Spidel's Federal Tax Letter, and if you're not already a subscriber, you can get more information and download a sample issue at caltax.com under the Publications tab. That's all for this week. Join us next time for another episode of Spidel's Federal Tax Minute.